A couple of very seismic things have just dropped on the political landscape, shaking up what we know about this particular campaign between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And it does not look good for Donald Trump. Things are looking up for the Democrats, for the country, for democracy. The Cook Political Report just released these numbers about battleground states and it is a devastating uh, set of data for, for Donald Trump. Um, Harris made up ground across the board. Look at this chart. Now either leading or tied in all but one battleground state. And Biden had been behind or tied in all of them. Look at these numbers. This is remarkable. That other than Nevada right now, where he seems to lead by three, I think that'll turn around. Three points is nothing. The, the, the closer we get, the more he runs his mouth, the more he behaves like we're used to him behaving, people are gonna be very turned off, continuing to be reminded of what is at stake, and we can make up that ground. Democrats can make up that ground. Kamala Harris and Tim Walls can make up that ground. But look at these other states. Arizona, Harris, up by two. That is promising. Georgia tied, that ground can absolutely be made up. Uh, Michigan up by three, that's huge. That is huge with the, the global conflicts that are on the, on the menu right now, the, 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 the genocide in Gaza, the, the rogue nature of the state of Israel acting just maniacal against the people in Gaza. Um, and the, you know the the Dearborn, Michigan, the 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 very healthy numbers of Muslims who live in Michigan, it seems to have turned. The tide has turned relative to their opinion about this election, whether it be sitting out, which we cannot afford, or being invigorated by the candidacy of of Kamala Harris. Uh, again, Nevada, Donald Trump seems to be up by three. Harris up in North Carolina by one. Pennsylvania up by one, and then Wisconsin up by three. These are great numbers. Here would be my prediction though. Uh, barring some uh, chicanery from the Donald Trump campaign, barring some, some uh, legal maneuvering, I think this is, a, is a, certainly not a done deal, but it's looking good. But I think that there are going to be at least a state or two that are gonna come into play that no one really suspects. That, that might be considered leaning red now or even solid red that could come into play. Florida looks like it could be in play. I think she's five points away in that race. And even Texas, believe it or not, I think Texas could be in play. But these numbers, these types of things should invigorate you. They should excite you. They should, and I hope they do, get you motivated enough to get organized and get active in a campaign. Go knock on doors. If all you can do is donate 20 bucks, do that. It is important. The, 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 the stakes of this election have never been higher. It is literally whether or not we will continue as a democracy. It's just what it is. It's not hyperbole to say that. Donald Trump and his Heritage Foundation goons want to end it. There are disparate races, local races, people who conduct elections and monitor elections who are Trump sycophants who are trying to get into office. We have to stop that. The, the, the election is probably gonna be challenged because we still have a house that is in question. They're doing everything they can do to end democracy and, you know, up to and including insurrection against the country. Thankfully, we don't have a president right now who will be party to that. That's a good thing, but there's still statewide offices in Trump loyal areas that are going to try to put their thumb on the scale at the very least, and maybe act fraudulently at the worst. And we've got a Supreme Court that cannot be trusted. There's a lot of things working against us. That's why I say this is not a foregone conclusion or a done deal. We need everybody to get involved. Ask yourself privately, what can I do? Ask your friends, what can you do? What should we do to get involved to make a, a, a difference in this election before November? Anyway, I would love your opinion on this. What do you think? Have you seen this? Did you know this? 
We can talk about it in the comments. You can uh, leave a comment there. It'll help the YouTube to, to share my content to new viewers. That's a, that's a personal favor. Uh, you can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on the social media. Tell me there what you're going to do. Uh, share this video, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube-centric things. That would be great. And uh, I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.